So back in the winter, we built this small miniature greenhouse for about $200. We had a lot of questions on if it would survive the wind, it looked cheap, is it gonna fall apart? Well, we're pleased to report that two months later, we still have a greenhouse, it's still here. Um, we did have to make a few adjustments for the wind that we'll show you real quick. Uh, one of them being we had to add a little bit more weight around the base, and there is a part of the frame that did break, um, but we have found a way to modify it. So our prevailing wind comes from this direction, blows over here to our greenhouse. So we have had to add weight along the base here. So there's a lot of bricks. There was an old house here that uh, was here until the 90s or so. So we just find old bricks and stick them around. The ground anchor made sure it didn't fly fully away and some gravel bags as well, just so that it doesn't pick up the plastic as easily. Our addition of the conduit along the top has held the frame in place, which is great news. An expensive way to make this beefier. Also, when the wind does pick up the greenhouse a little bit, it does shift forward. So we have placed two T-posts along the entrance here so that it just pushes against there and it doesn't move. Before we made this modification, you can see that the entrance beam did break when it hit the ground anchor right there. Um, so that is a weak point, so we did add another T-post here to beef up the structure a little bit more, but so far it has been holding up very good even with all of our rain and winter storms and snow. So earlier this week, I went to the Pendleton Street Farm to our garden plot and lo and behold I found our greenhouse. It wasn't where it was when it began, but rather up on its end and crumpled. The whole frame had shattered. This unfortunately was due to a strong line of thunderstorms that moved through the area. Right now we are not planning on reconstructing it right away, but rather we're planning on saving that time as we're actively looking for land for our homestead. And we're going to be developing some plans to hopefully construct a greenhouse out of some hog panels. One thing I'll note about this particular structure is the plastic is of fantastic quality. There is just one little tear in it which can easy, be easily patched, but other than that, the fabric was untouched. So if nothing else, the fabric itself was a great investment. 